We're in a situation where we have put together, and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration before this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. I had that experience countless times on the trail, Don, where if I would say, hey, I'm running for president to a truck driver, retail worker, a waitress in a diner. And they would say, what party? And I say Democrat. And they would flinch like I'd said something really negative or I just like I'd like turned another color or something like that. Uh, and there's something deeply wrong when working class Americans have that response to a major party that theoretically is supposed to be fighting for them. So you have to ask yourself, what has the Democratic Party been standing for in their minds and in their minds the democratic party unfortunately has taken on this role of the coastal urban elites who are more concerned about policing various cultural issues than improving their way of life yep. that has been declining for years exactly and you'd think they would know that because they probably take uber like everybody else and how many immigrant uber cab drivers at the very bottom of the gig economy the democrats created are listening to fox news on the radio you ever notice that if you haven't, then you're not an Uber, because they are. And those are exactly the kind of people the Democrats claim they represent, but instead they've ignored for the past four years and yelled about Russia, Russia, Russia. Now, privately, some Democrats know they need to figure this out right away. On a call with other Democrats yesterday, Abigail Spanberger, she's an elected member of Congress from Virginia, made that clear. I think that we need to be pretty clear about the fact that Tuesday from a congressional standpoint, it was a failure. It was not a success. We lost members who shouldn't have lost. So we need to not ever use the word socialist or socialism ever again. Because while people think it doesn't matter, it does matter. And we lost good members because of that. And if we are classifying Tuesday as a success from a congressional standpoint, we will get torn apart in 2022. Ooh, Abigail Spanberger points out the truth. Of course, most of the Democrats who lost were more moderate Democrats, meaning that Sandy Cortez, who's not only stupid but radical, will have more control of the party. And that's a huge problem for Democrats. Spanberger went on to point out that most voters, meaning people who don't live in gated communities or have security guards like Nancy Pelosi, don't want to, quote, defund the police. Another Democrat on the call agreed with Spanberger. Will the party survive this? Federal prosecutors say a West Seneca postal worker could have interfered with the election by stealing absentee ballots and other mail. He's now charged with delay or destruction of mail. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller shows us what led to the arrest and what authorities say they found in the man. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory. A victory for we the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. 74 million. What I must admit has surprised me. Tonight, we're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. And I'm humbled by the trust and confidence you placed in me. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide,
with different labels, but our enemies manufactured both these rats in human disguise and their puppets revel in watching us kill ourselves. We We will not fall for their evil tricks again. We will not fall for the lies of the Jews this time. This time we know our war is with